Hey, it's good to see you again. I hope you're doing okay. So what's been going on? Okay. Alright, you think you looked a little bit too long at the eclipse a couple of days ago. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not a problem. Super common. We get more questions than you would believe. So no worries, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit more. Um, how long did you look at the eclipse? Okay, and was, was this with or without the eclipse glasses? Okay, okay, it was with sunglasses. Those actually are not approved uh, eclipse eyewear, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, we'll get to the bottom of it today. No worries. No worries, okay? Um, so that whole period you were looking at the eclipse that was with sunglasses. All right. Okay, and since then, have you noticed any problems in particular that have to do with your vision? Okay. Yeah, and I'll ask you a few questions here in a second. Um, when was your last eye appointment with us? Okay, great. Not too long ago. Perfect. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we sort of, if we need to take any pictures or anything like that, we know what your eye looked like the last time you were here and when we were a hundred percent sure that you didn't burn your retina, you know? So, I just wanted to ask. All right. So, have you had any issues since the eclipse seeing certain colors? Okay. Does your vision seem a little bit dim or dark even when you are in a fully lit place? Okay, uh, any weird waves um, when you look at something that you know is straight like a tree or a pole? Does it seem curvy at all? Okay, uh, have you had any double vision? Right, any weird floaters such as webs, rings, or squiggly lines? Okay. And is this sort of common for you? Is this an all the time thing, or have you really just noticed it since the eclipse? Or has it gotten worse? Okay. Any, any um, unexplained flashing lights. Okay. Halos around light sources. All right, how about any issues focusing or with double vision? Right, any weird shadows? Blind spots. Okay, particularly in the center of your vision. All right. A decrease in vision quality overall. Okay, got it. And last question for you here. Um, any pain? either in your eyes, when viewing bright lights, or any headaches. Okay, and where would you say that you feel this pain the most? Sort of right here. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha. 
Well, thankfully, you know, in this day and age, we have a whole lot of tests that we can do to uh, assess the damage, if there is any, and then we'll come up with a plan for what we can do, okay, if we do detect that you might have done something to your vision, okay? Okay. All right. So first, we're going to go ahead and start by assessing your color vision, okay? This is usually what gets affected the most if you do look at the eclipse for a long time, okay? All right, so real simple. I have this booklet here. You can see there are some hidden numbers, and I just want you to tell me the numbers that you can see within these circles, okay? Looking right here. Okay, and this number. Very good. Next page here. How about this number? Alright, and this number. Okay, very good again. Last page. Okay, number over here. And number over here. Okay, very good, very good. Alright, now I have a few pictures I want you to look at. Okay. I have these two pictures of a cute little beach scene. Um, I want you to tell me which one is more saturated. Okay, very good. How about now? Which one is more saturated? Okay. And now, which one is less saturated? Okay, and between all three, which one looks uh, in the middle? So the most normal, I suppose. All right, very good. Let's put those away. Next. We have this line of circles, and I just want you to point to all of the completely yellow circles. Okay, very good. This is yellow. Okay, are there any more? Okay, I see. Very good. And next, I have this really nice color chart. Let's see? And I want you to point towards a really bright true red. Okay, very good. And I want you to tell me, um, what color is this? How would you describe this color? Okay, and how about this color right here? And how about this color up here? Okay, very good. And I'm going to put this shade over your vision. Ready? One, two, three. Very easy. Now I want you to point to a true blue. The bluest blue that you can find on here. Okay, and how about a very true orange? Crayola, a pack of crayons orange.
Okay, very good. And now, I want you to tell me what color are these colors. There's a lot of different shades, so what color is this? Okay. And right here, what color are these? They're all shades of, yes, very good. Very good. And these are all shades of... Perfect. And one more time with the shade. Okay. And... What color? Okay, good. And... What color? Good. And... Very good. Good. So those are all, or most of the color tests. Really easy, just like I said, right? Okay. Let's write a few notes here. All right. And now we're going to move on to sort of assessing your regular vision. So, I have the very classic eye chart here. Can you go ahead and tell me what this letter is? Good. And this letter? Alright, can you read this line for me? Right there. Very good. Okay. How about this line down here? Okay, very good. I'm gonna pop that shade over your eyes once again. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Very good. Can you read the third line from the top? Very good. And the line below that. And the very bottom line. Can you read that for me? Okay, how about the line right above the bottom line? Okay, very good. Good, good, good. All right. And now we're going to do something a little bit fun. I'm going to adjust the lights in the room. And after I dim them, I want you to tell me... Um, so I'm going to dim them and they're going to be dark and then I'm going to bring the lights back on and I want you to tell me how long it takes for your eyes to adjust to the light, okay? All right, so we're turning off the lights or most of the lights. Okay. And we're going to turn the lights back on. Okay. So how long did it take your eyes to adjust to the light? you experience any pain or anything? Okay, good. Now I'm going to turn just one of these lights off. There it goes. And I'm going to change the color of the other light in the room. 
and I want you to let me know when the light in the room is red, okay? So you can just raise your hand or let me know when that is red. and raise your hand when the light is blue. Okay. Right, and raise your hand when the light is green. Okay. Very good. And raise your hand when the lighting is pretty much back to where it was, okay? Right about there. Okay. Yep, that's just about where we were. All right, I'm going to pop that other line back on let me know if you have any pain and uh, about how long it takes for your eyes to adjust, okay? Okay. Very good. All right, so we're going to play that game again. I'm once again going to turn this light off. So we're just working with one light. And I'm going to dim the one light we have left. And I want you to tell me when this T right here, when you can't see that letter anymore, okay? All right, so just look at that T for me. in a very low light environment. I want you to have a look at these pictures here. I'm going to dim the brightness on my device so you can't cheat. Okay, I want you to go ahead and point to the pig. Okay, go ahead and point to the pumpkin. Okay, and lastly, can you point to the acorn? All right. Very good. All right, let me get those lights back on. We're still not feeling any pain or anything like that. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Right. Okay, so next we're going to do a lot of um, things that I'm sure you've seen before. I want you to go ahead and follow the very tip of my pen for just like that. Perfect. See, you've clearly done this before. Very good. And any double vision, any pain. Okay, great. Now I want you to look at my nose. Keep looking at my nose and tell me when you see the fingers wiggle. Good. 
good. Keep looking at my nose. Very good. And very good. Now we're going to get the line out. Right, bright light. Again, let me know if you experience any pain or tenderness or anything like that. Okay? Alright. So first, I want you to follow this light. Okay, are you seeing any unusual halos? Bright flashes? following. Great. Now I'm going to get up close and I want you to look at my nose, okay? Great. Just going to make sure these reflexes are still there. Very, very good. All right, no halos, floaters. Okay. Just making sure. And now we're going to make sure your depth perception is okay. All right. All right. So to start, I have these two little needles in my fingers, okay? See them? One's got a blue tip, one's got a pink tip. Okay, I want you to tell me which one is closer to you. Okay, ready? Good. 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 And now I want you to tell me approximately how far apart these two are from each other, okay? So, if you were to measure the distance between the pink pin and the blue pin right now, about what would that be in inches, okay? Or whatever measurement you want to use. Alright, ready? Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay, good. Let's put those back in the little cushion so nobody gets stabbed. We are not that kind of doctor's office. Alright, and lastly, we're gonna break out these tips. Perception planes. Okay, so in one of these four squares, there you can see a circle, and I want you to tell me which square you can see the circle in, okay? Alright, good. How about now? Good. And now? Very good. That was the easiest one. <laughs> so, we've got two more for you. How about on this plate? Right. How about now? Okay. Now. And the last plate. Alright. Okay. And lastly. Hold 
Okay. Alright, well, that concludes all the tests that I have for you today. And good news, I'm not seeing anything that would indicate significant damage or any burns to your retina, which is great to hear. I am uh, just seeing a little bit of evidence that your eyes are a little tired and strained at the moment. Okay, so what we can do for you if you want, we can give you eye drops, um, a prescription, or even an over-the-counter recommendation if this is something that happens a lot. Um, and also, as all doctors recommend, I recommend that you stay away from those screens, you know, make sure you're using appropriate eye protection when you go outside. Okay, and even on days where an eclipse is not taking place, be careful of that sun and don't look directly into it. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, the nurses will get you all checked out. It's great to see you today. Um, and for the next eclipse, make sure you have uh, the approved eyewear, okay? I wouldn't want you to miss a thing. All right, it was great to see you. Thanks for coming in. and I'm glad we could help and I hope you have a great rest of your day.